Good morning, Jim Lam. Last week we learned about integrity. Do you still remember what integrity is? It's supposed to save inside and outside. Should we be the same from our hearts and our action as a child of God? Yes, God loves everyone, not only few. Do you remember when I was talking about Paul's life? God did not play favoritism. I hope you remember it. Even if people knew and accepted God's love and grace, people start to play favoritism in the church. They try to reach people better than the poor and also Jewish and Gentiles. However, Paul and James wrote the letter today to the church and told them and encouraging them, Jesus died on the cross for everyone. God did not pick or play the favoritism. We all know God loves everyone. So keep this in mind. Let's all rise up. Praise God all together. Just. 
playground with your friends and you had to play basketball or something that played together as a team how did you pick the teams usually choose the captain first and they pick the tip most of the time they pick their favorite people and they pick the people who are like to be good at and if you are one of the last people picked then you feel pretty left out right but you know, God doesn't pick favoritism even if it says so. Check in the Bible today, today, Bible passage from James chapter 2, verse 1 through 13, and Romans chapter 2, 11. We're going to read together James 2, verse 5, and Romans chapter 2, verse 11. Let's start to read from the Romans. For God does not show favoritism. Listen to me, dear brothers and sisters. Hasn't God chosen the poor and this word to be rich in faith? Aren't they the one who will inherit the kingdom he promised to those who love him? Yes, indeed. It is good when you obey the royal law as found in the scripture. Love your neighbor as yourself. God's people say, Amen. See, God doesn't like anyone more than anyone else. In other words, to God, no person is more important or less important than any other person. For example, 전도사님, I do preach, right? I do preach, so I am important rather than you are. Am I right? No, God did not do that. He loves us all the same. Now, let's find out why we know this. The early church had many leaders. They taught other believers, encouraged them to keep following Jesus, and corrected them when they sinned. 
One of these leaders was Jesus' half-brother, James, the son of Mary and Joseph. James was a leader in the Jerusalem church. He wrote a letter to the Jewish believers who had moved to many different places. He told them the way believers should live. People who trust Jesus show that they really believe in him by doing good and right things. One important right thing James taught is to not show favoritism. That means we should treat everyone the same. No person is more important or less important than any other person. James said, imagine you are meeting together and a man comes in wearing a gold ring and fancy clothes. Then a poor man in old dirty clothes comes in too. Is it right to pay attention to the man in fancy clothes and give him a chair to sit in, but say to the poor man, stand over there or sit on the floor? If you do this, you have treated one man better than the other. James said that God does not show favoritism. He does not treat rich people better than poor people, nor does he treat poor people better than rich people. God has a place in heaven for everyone who loves him. God taught us his law. Love your neighbor as yourself. Anyone who treats one person better than another person breaks God's law. James told the believers to show mercy to others because they had been shown mercy. They were sinners, but God forgave their sins through his son, Jesus. James insisted, mercy triumphs over judgment. When believers in the early church treated some people as better than others, James told them they were wrong. He reminded them that Jesus commanded believers to love one another. Because he has shown great mercy to us, we can show mercy to others. The Bible says we are all sinner, not just some people, not just the people you really look like the sinner, but everyone in the world is a sinner. You see sin as when you go your way instead of God's way. That means it's a sin to disobey your parents, to believe your bro little brother and sister, or even thinking mean thoughts about someone. And we all sin every single day. So we all need Jesus, not just you, not just me, but everyone. God told us we are all invited to follow Jesus. Have you ever invited to any church like a friend or relative? Jesus invites everyone, even the person no one likes or even bullies. That's because he doesn't only pick the spiritual person, he picks everyone. Jesus gave his life to have a freedom for everyone. As we all know, John 3, 16 said, as we sang today, God is so loved the word, not one person, not into church only for the word. God wants everyone to know him and live with him in heaven someday. So next time you see someone meet, invite them to the church. Even if we do the online, they need Jesus just as much as we do. As we know, Jesus is the only way to get to God through the Jesus. I know if you go somewhere, there's a few ways to get there, but there is the only way to get to see God to have it is Jesus. Remember, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only path to heaven. We are all equal in God's eyes, and everyone gets to the exact same way through Jesus. Lastly, I am telling you the one story. This is a true story. The one Sunday morning, one homeless person sat on the, in front of the church. He was really smelly, looks like dirty and kept begging for the money to the people who came to the church for the worshiping God. But everyone ignored him, not just did not help him. They wanted to kick out him from the church. They said, you could not be here. Here is a church. When worship start, people praise God and join the worship. They were so happy. All of a sudden, they got shocked. Why? The person who were begging the money this morning, he was a pastor of 
the church. He came up on the stage, told them to repent. Dreamland. God loves everyone, either we are Jewish or Gentile. He doesn't judge the people, our appearance. Either I was born in Christian family or I became a Christian lately. Either I am rich or the poor. Either I am short or tall. How old I am, how rich I am, how smart I am, how foolish I am. No matter. Anything cannot be the matter to God. To receive His mercy and grace. In God's eyes, we are all sinners, but at the same time, we all His child too. As He showed His mercy and grace to us, we need to show others mercy and grace. God never play favoritism. Remember, God loves us, and no matter what we do or did it, but God also loves others even if they do not know Jesus yet. Dreamland, show love, mercy, and grace to others as God showed us. Have a heart of God and have a view of God. Amen? Amen. Put your hands together, close your eyes. Let's pray together. God, thank you for loving us even if we are sinners. Please help us to have a heart of you and eyes of you when we meet others. Let Holy Spirit fill our hearts and love others as myself. Follow your love steps wherever we go. Thank you for becoming our Savior, not only for us, not only for the churches, for the Word, the whole Word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Let's do Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, we pray that your name will always be kept holy. We pray that your kingdom will come. We pray that what you want will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the food we need for each day. Forgive the sins we have done just as we have forgiven those who did wrong to us. And do not cause us to be tested, but save us from the evil one. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever. Amen. 